Hi guys, welcome back to The Good, The Bad with Kat. My name is Kat and I am excited um, to announce, I look so excited, I'm sure. I am excited to announce that I, or not even announce, I am excited because last night I purchased my entry into a triathlon. About, in 2015, I think I did my first triathlon. I'll, if I find a photo, I'll make sure we clip it in right now. Um, of my first triathlon, I did it with my sister and a friend, and I fell in love with the sport. And then I proceeded to do multiple ones. And I think I did that for two years, maybe three. And then I was offered a ch an opportunity to become a race director of tri triathlon. And so I did that. And because and then during that time, I stopped racing. I did not, and I'm not by no means an athlete. I mean, I mean, I'm just racing for fun and for the experience and for the community and everything. And so for the last three, four years, I have been helping put on triathlons and half marathons and duathlons and children's events. And it's been amazing. And I have loved every step of the way. Um, but going into 2023, I knew I wanted to do something different, but I want to keep my foot and my world, my heart in that community. And I thought, what better way to do that than return to being an athlete, which is why I became a race director. All right. So why this event? Well, I've, I've done this event before, so I know the course. I have put on this event as, a, as an assistant race director, so I'm very familiar with the process of this particular course. But the biggest thing is it's all women. It's an all-female event. I know almost all of them, minus the newbies coming on. So it's a very safe community for me to jump into. Um, the company that puts this race on is excellent in what they do, and so I am... I just know it's a safe, trustworthy event. They are going to have clinics, so uh, where I can get on the course and practice the hills with under and under safer conditions um, and all that stuff. So I'm really excited about this one. Um, it's a community I love a lot, and I know a lot of people are excited to see me come back as an athlete. And so I know for me, since I'm coming from such a unhealthy season, I want to be in a safe fun community where I'm encouraged and I'm pushed to meet my goal. And I really believe for this event and the community that surrounds this event, I'm going to get that. Um, so what does that look like? Well, because it's an endurance multi-sport event, you have to swim, bike, run in a certain amount of time on the in the same day with no pauses. So that means your body has to learn to switch from being swimming to cycling to running. So that means I've got to get back in the pool and start swimming and building up my endurance in that. I've got to get back on the bike and I got to get on the hills because this course is very hilly. So I got to learn how to get on the bike. And then the bigger thing is when you transition from the bike to the run, your legs can feel really wobbly. So I got to I got to get back to running number one, just to finish the course, but I got to get my body, um, ready to switch from swimming to biking to running. So that's why triathlon is different than just doing a half marathon. They're both hard in their own ways, but this one you're switching. So for the next four months, so till the race is in April, so for the rest of January, February, March, and April, I have a training plan that I'll be following that's a swim, that's gonna teach me, it's gonna tell me exactly what to swim on each day, what to bike on each day, what to run on each day. And I won't do every event every day, but I might swim on Tuesday, bike on Wednesday, run on Thursday. And of course, when I say that, they're gonna be short swims, short bike rides, and probably a lot of walking in the beginning. So I'm gonna bring you guys along for the journey from today, where I haven't swam in six months, haven't been on a bike, my bike in about three, and haven't run in forever. I walked with my neighbors the other day, which was a big deal, to, to that point. And so I'll bring you, I'll vlog those. So you're gonna to wanna to follow my Instagram, which is the good, the bad with cat. And I'll probably do a lot more of my training stuff on there and then just create a video at the end with all the pieces. So I'm super excited and I hope you guys join me for my first challenge of 2023, which is my sprint, super sprint triathlon um, in April. So just remind yourself, guys, you are seen, you are loved, and I hope you have a blessed day.